Okay, in this video I'd like to do some troubleshooting because some things may be obvious for some and some are not. So here's the link to our website. You go in, you see the website and you say, oh, it's good, but where are the editing buttons? Now, there are, of course, many ways of actually getting the um, editing buttons. But first of all, let me say a few things. It is important that you use either Firefox browser or Chrome. It is extremely important you never use Internet Explorer. Okay? Uh, Internet Explorer is basically a default browser in your computer and it never works. And if you have a Mac, probably it will work very well with Safari. So I don't have to address that. Okay, so you go to the website, you click on the link, you're here, it's all beautiful, but you have no editing tools. The way to solve it is you scroll down and you look for this word which says sign in. Here. You click on it, you put your email, uh, you put your login name to Google, not to university, not to anything. You see, I don't actually have to write at gmail.com. It's all right. Uh, my computer remembers the password. I go sign in. And here we are. So that's one way. And now we have the editing tools. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. The second thing I wanted to show you is if you go to our questions for um, EIP 220, once you logged in, and it only happens once you logged in, well, I wouldn't advise you to edit the post because already someone has written something, so you don't want to edit, you want to comment on them. And the way to comment is <clears throat> two, two ways. For example, you want to actually talk about intercultural knowledge, so you click on it, you copy it, and then you create new post, and then you remove this. You say you want to talk about intercultural knowledge, and then now you can say, Anya, I don't believe in it, I think we are all the same. All right, you could do that. And then once you have written the thing, notice there's a place for comments, and I'll show you later on what it means. Once you've written your post under the topic that you have selected, um, you click Save. I will not click it, but you can click Save. And notice what happened actually. <coughs> right. So what, if I clicked save, your topic intercultural knowledge would be here instead of example of questions and the text would follow underneath. Now notice what I can do now. I can also, at this very moment when we are in this um, uh, place which, which shows us all the questions that have ever been asked uh, under this, on this uh, particular, what do you call it, link or menu. Um, but if you actually want to comment, just simply comment on a particular one without creating a new post, what you can actually do is click on this one, say example of, and now you get a comment here and you can write a comment. So I say this is a comment I have written for a demo video. All right. So add comment, and here it is. And you can have 3,000 of them, which is wonderful, right? So you can either comment on the posting itself, or you can actually create your own uh, question or uh, thread. So let's, let's have a look here. So this is home, right? This is questions. Once I click on this one, which is questions and answers for our subject, you get three th all of them here. And you can actually create a new thread or particular specific thread. So you, co you, you I, I mean, you can, I just copied this one, but you can basically create new post, add 
remove untitled post and just create your own topic and then write the text here and then save but I will not save it or go back if you want to comment on this specific just comment rather than create a new thread you click on this particular post and there it is comments and then you write your comments here and then you click on add comments and it will appear just like this one here all right so that was a quick summary of this particular video